Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. So I was not planning on filming today, but one of my sweet customers messaged me and said she was having a benefit garage sale and she knew it was a little bit harder uh, for me on the weekends to go shopping because of the kids and told me if I wanted to, I could come ahead of time before the sale and look through her stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, thank you. Well, I just got here y'all so much stuff like this has to be its own video i'm so excited to start digging i'm gonna turn the camera around and just show y'all what i'm working with this is gonna be fun i'm gonna take y'all digging with me she does have things pretty separated out so this is all her the kitchen stuff which y'all know i love so I'll be going through all this. I have not started digging yet. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all. And then we're going to start digging and see what we can find. So this is all like kind of home decor, household items, thing like, things like that. She does have it pretty organized. She said as soon as somebody brings in donations, she kind of goes through it. And then labels it and separates it out. Which is a good idea. And then... This is the clothing right here. She has it all separated out by gender and sizes. I'm going to do this last and see if I still have time to go through the clothing, clothing because my kids really don't need anything. So we'll see. And then she has like electronics, a few, few picture frames right here. And then we go up the stairs. These are bags, costumes, and then here's the kids department. <laughs> Lots of kids stuff. And here is a lot more amazing home decor. I definitely saw stuff right out the back when I came up here like how cute is this and y'all look at this picture frame look at this beast amazing look at this basket yes I am excited all right, I'm going to go back downstairs and start there, and then I'll make my way back up here. How long do y'all think it's going to take me to go through all this? Like, I thought I'd be here like an hour, but I think it's going to be longer than that. Oh, candlesticks. Oh, yes. All right, like I said, I am starting with the kitchen stuff, and they have this set of four with the little wooden spoons i love this this would be so cute paint it white with these little wooden spoons love this and then here's another crock set let's see i didn't see what this one looked like yet oh i love the shape on this this is a little bit raised this design but not too much a little bit of textured paint would get rid of that so I think I'm going to be taking these two croc sets home with me, y'all. I'm going to have so much work to do after I leave here. They have some crock pots, just some basic kitchen, small appliances, a waffle maker. Ooh, a pampered chef stone. Do y'all use these? I always pick them up when I find them. This is like what we cook on all the time at home. We don't use any other pans except those Pampered Chef stones. Lots of Tupperware. I don't see any cool like old rusty pans. So we got books. There's a bunch of DVDs I picked out two no one Wii game for the kids this is a sports one and some dvds for ren because i got rid of all that stuff because my other kids had grown up and now i need it all again okay i found this mirror somebody wanted me to do a video antiquing a mirror so i think this one is perfect i love 
the thin little frame that is definitely in style my camera's having a hard time picking up that's cute I'm gonna get that I'm gonna pass on this one let somebody else have it but this is one of those big round mirrors that are in style nice and chunky the lighting is not the best in here so my camera's probably gonna have a little bit of a hard time focusing I'm about to take this stuff out and see what is back there and then oh my god y'all it's kind of overwhelming we gotta go through all these boxes What's this? Kirkland's. I never picked these up. I don't think there is any way to update these um, plate holders with the plates. That is just not my style. Never has been. I never pick up that stuff. Here's some floating shelves. A vase with an arrangement. Here's some flowers. Not my style either. Laundry room sign, bathroom sign, all right I'm gonna need two hands to kind of look through this stuff but then I'm gonna turn my camera back on and bring y'all back. That would be really cute if it wasn't messed up. I like that picture for Christmas. Oh what's this? handmade by somebody okay let me look with both my hands and then I'm gonna bring y'all back when I find some stuff I'm gonna take all this stuff out because she can sell this separately look got some stuff to show y'all right here I'm not gonna be buying all this stuff but I thought this would be stuff y'all might be interested in so I want to show y'all so I just fished out this really pretty glass jar these are great just to paint and put a stamp on perfect for somebody to put by their front door for their keys this doesn't look old, but I thought it was cute. This is really cool. It's definitely a different type of three-tiered tray. It's hand-carved, or it looks hand-carved. Pretty light wood. A little box. I think I kind of want this for myself. I like that. I love when they have chicken wire around stuff. So cute these look at these glass things so it has like the little finial at the top then the glass jar and then look at that great base at the bottom these will look so good painted up white and distressed candlesticks this one's really cute and here's a tall skinny one made out of brass and black this is some of that dark metal that used to be popular years ago now it looks great. Paint it white and distressed. That one has little feet on the bottom. Here's a cute little floral box. That would look so great painted white and distressed. It has these little glass balls on it. I don't usually pick up crosses, but I do like all the detail on this one and the wooden base. That would look great painted white and distressed and send on somebody's mantle or entertainment center. And... I think that's everything. I might have a few more boxes to look through in here and then we can move on to the next room. I said I was going to go through the clothes last but I ended up going through it all and I found a few pieces for the kids. Not too much. I was very selective but I am going to pass up all these handbags and costumes and kid stuff and go to the goodies over here. The lighting should be much better up here because there's much more natural sunlight these look like some chinese print this one's kind of cute but not really my style this is i think for like 
metals or something. I don't know. Do y'all know? Let's see what's in this box. Little tin sign. Let's we'll see some birds. These are cute. It's a set of them. That would be pretty painted in the cement look. Some lamps. I am not a lamp person. I don't have a single lamp in my house. Are y'all a lamp person? All right, let's take out these candlesticks and check these out. Okay, that one, I have one almost like this at the house. So that would be perfect to sell these as a set of three if I have another one at the house. Oh wait, there is a set of three. Perfect. This is interesting, but very like bohemian. I'm not into the pearls and all. I'm gonna leave this for somebody else. And then this one big pewter candlestick. Let's see what's in here. I'm pretty sure this is for wine. They have flowers in it. That would be cute to just take this part of the basket off and then have this hanging on the wall with floral. Okay, I might have to get that because that would be so cute. I like leather, I like baskets. Both of them together are pretty. All right, should I get this? I have one like this in my house because it never sold. We got all the stuff to go with it. This would be cute at Christmas time if you didn't paint it and you just left it green. I think I'm gonna pass on this. Let somebody else buy that. Looks like some crosses in here. Some breakable stuff. Some figurines. Here is a huge chest. Definitely not into this shape. Here's a very pretty picture. And then, I think I showed y'all this already. Look at this piece with this gorgeous frame. I am also gonna leave this for somebody else. That's gonna sell. We'll let somebody else get that. All right, let's go see what's in this room. Got some more picture frames. Don't really see anything I'm interested in. Lots of picture frames, so I'm very selective about what I get. Look at these little dancing frog lamps. Those are very interesting. Definitely vintage. Oh, I see more picture frames over there. There's a whole box of them. Empty box. Definitely going to be checking out this basket. Looks like a picnic basket. Mi mixing, missing the top. Framed fruit. Some little round wall hanging things. This with some leaves and some fleur de lis. I am just not, not into fleur de lis. Anything with fleur de lis just turns me off. If I have something fleur de lis, it's because somebody gave it to me. I've already painted up one of these before. And let me tell you, these things are such a pain to paint. Not worth my time at all. There's a pair of them in here. Fleur de lis. No, no. <laughs> Sorry if you like Fleur de Lee. It's just not my thing. This a cute little short basket. That would look great with some greenery in it. Here's a big old chicken box. I actually don't mind it. With the, the look it has, it's very French country. I'll leave that for somebody that likes it just the way it is. I'm wondering if this card is for sale because... I love this. It's very vintage looking with this metal on the top. It's already naturally distressed. This would be so cute inside or outside. I'm going to ask her if that's for sale because I'm not sure. But I like it. Curtains. These are denim curtains still in the pack. Somebody needs curtains. Let's see. If I see anything interesting. 
Ooh, they got some glass ones. That was definitely from somebody's wedding. Okay, these look like nice frames. Let me pull this out. Those would look great painted up. It doesn't even have a picture in it yet. It's just blank frames, but you can tell these are expensive. It has the velvet backing. Those are nice. I'm going to have to use both my hands to get through that. I'm also not sure if this chair is for sale, but it is adorable. Look at the texture on it. it looks like it would be comfy too. It's a little faded, but I do love the color green that it is. That's cute. I messaged her and she said the cart was for sale, so I'm going to take this and then... I decided to take this set of frames because it's a set and I have some vintage prints and I really like to sell my frames in sets of two so I'm going to paint them up white, distress them, put a vintage print in here and sell the pair. And then I have my box right here with this little basket and the, oh, the candlesticks. <laughs> and I think I'm going to pass on... The basket I just have so much to deal with right now and oh god it's such like a nice thick one too these are so cute to paint up and put I have mine I used mine for Christmas to put like the smaller presents in and it was so cute or you could paint it white and put blankets and all in it okay never mind I'm taking the basket oh I love it and then this chair I'm gonna tell her if it doesn't sell at the garage sale I want it because I really like it I don't need it so I figured if it's still here then it's meant to be and I have to rescue it but if not it can go to a different home so okay I think that's it I'm going to go through the kids toys and stuff really quick Ren is really into baby dolls so I'm gonna see if there's like any baby doll stuff for her she likes that kind of stuff and she really plays with it. So I'm just going to look through a few of these things really quick and then I'll be done. I've been here for like an hour and a half, so not too, too bad. I went through it pretty quickly. I hope y'all enjoyed that little impromptu shopping trip. I definitely did not know what I was getting into. Like I did not realize how much stuff she had. So when I saw it, I'm like, okay, I need to film this. I would have certainly put makeup on if I knew I was filming today, but y'all don't care, right? So I had so much fun digging through everything. She was like in her office working the whole time. So I kind of had the place to myself, but I love plenty of stuff for other people and I'm definitely going to be sharing her event making sure she gets lots of people out there so she can make some money. I gave a hundred dollar donation so it was a donation garage sale or is a donation garage sale and she's raising funds for her son's scholarship program so her son is a little bit younger than me I went to school with him and he married a lady from Guatemala they're living out there they have a kid and you know Guatemala is a third world country and going to school is a privilege over there so he created a scholarship fund and he helps women go to school and get degrees there so she showed me a picture actually of a lady who had just graduated with an accounting degree and she showed me like their housing situations and everything and she's like the only way for these women to get out of these situations is to go to school get an education and make a better life you know for their future so i thought that was really cool i felt good giving her a hundred dollars because i either bought stuff that i needed and was going to buy anyway or i bought stuff to flip and i made a video on it so i might send her a little bit more too so yeah now i gotta go deal with all this stuff it's so much fun to go shopping but now i gotta like empty out my car and deal with all this stuff right oh ah! like I don't have enough to do but it's okay it's okay I ended up staying there for about two hours it was just fun like sometimes I'm in the mood to dig and sometimes I'm not today I was in the mood to dig and I was excited to go through everything all right guys y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video I got a lot of work to do I gotta go thanks for watching and give this video a big